Compared to other local colleges, Mars Hill College in the Appalachian Mountains is made up of a more diversified student body. Many different ethnicities attend MHC. MHC also has a large community of student athletes who account for almost 41% of the on-campus population. Also, many social and religious groups coexist around the campus, such as fraternities, sororities, and groups associated with spiritual pursuits. With such a diversified collection, it's a wonder how it all meshes. The student population is small. It hovers at about a thousand students, and they concur that the town surrounding the college yields very few ways to escape the scene on campus. Sherman Ragland says people are forced to coexist. He is a Durham, North Carolina native. Ragland explained that back home, things are different. Ragland says that at Mars Hill, the, at the social atmosphere is unique. He says minorities have little choice but to fit in. Mars Hill is a majority white college with 77% being Caucasian. Also, there is a significant number of students of color, black, Hispanic, Native American, and Asian American. They presently make up 23% of the student population. This large percent of students of color is unusual for a mountain school. UNC Asheville reports only 7% of the student population being students of color. This statistic is posted on collegeboard.com, a reference tool many high school students use to look up information about institutions of higher education. Eastern Tennessee State University in Johnson City reports 10% students of color. So what is it about Mars Hill that makes diversity work? Quan Thomas believes it's the people who make it all work. Thomas of Winston-Salem says he developed a new group of friends once here and he just got used to it. He's a freshman this year and says that it's an experience learning the ways of the Hill social scene. Thomas explains that most of his friends are athletes. Some of them run on the track team. He says it's a pretty tight-knit clique. Thomas did not participate in a sport at Mars Hill this year, but has plans on running track next year. Right now, he admits that he is a regular student just trying to focus on class and getting good grades. One difference affecting his social experience is his appearance. His head is covered in dreadlocks. Thomas answers honestly about whether he feels his hair excludes him from groups on campus. He says he's thought about this quite a bit and concludes some people don't approach him because of his dreads. He says some white people feel like it's intimidating. He also says his hairstyle subjects him to a certain type of reaction. So in Thomas's case, there is some tension on campus due to being different. The cafeteria is one place where diversity of the student body is evident every day. People pile into the large dining hall at regular intervals to get a hot plate and sit with their friends. Thomas says that when you go to the cafe at different tables, it looks like it's segregated, and it may be that way because people are just different. People on campus tend to congregate where they, quote, fit in and are welcome. This social behavior seems to define the Mars Hill social scene.